Today, we will discuss one of the most unusual and scientifically significant discoveries related to the interstellar object, 3I Atlas. Over the past few months, astronomers and independent observers have recorded a whole series of anomalies from it. Each new feature challenged conventional understanding of comet behavior, but the latest data have proven especially intriguing. Among them are the longest and clearest images of its tail, record-breaking rotational stability, a complete lack of decrease in jet acceleration, bright patches on the surface, and rhythmic cyanogen outbursts synchronized with the nucleus's 16.2-hour rotation period. Let's start with the image that captured the attention of the entire scientific community. Astrophotographer Satoru Murata has obtained what is perhaps the best high-quality image of 3I Atlas to date, using a 0.2-meter diameter telescope in New Mexico and stacking 24 exposures of 60 seconds each. He managed to capture a detailed image with exceptional sharpness. The photo shows multiple gas jets directed both towards the sun and away from it, a distinct anti-tail structure and a long, narrow, unusually straight tail extending over 2.6 million kilometers. That is approximately seven times the distance between Earth and the Moon. Such an image is important because it allows researchers to study the internal dynamics of the jets, the orientation of the tail, and the behavior of ejected particles with unprecedented accuracy. Next is the most unexpected discovery. 3I Atlas has shown no decrease in non-gravitational acceleration for 182 days. The A3 parameter remains absolutely stable, which is an impossible situation for comets. The study of over 1,200 comets has shown that without exception, their thrust decreases, typically by 20-50%, as they move away from the sun. Cooling leads to a drop in pressure inside the nucleus and activity subsides. But this is not happening with 3I Atlas. Gas emissions have remained stable for six consecutive months. This makes the object unique among all known comets. When such constancy is observed, questions arise about the internal structure of the nucleus. One theory involves an abundance of volatile substances, like carbon monoxide or molecular nitrogen, these gases can sublimate even at low temperatures, providing a steady stream. Another possibility is the presence of channels or cracks inside the nucleus that act as natural valves, releasing gas uniformly regardless of the distance from the sun. Meanwhile, the rotation of 3I Atlas remains incredibly stable. The period is about 16-16 hours, and according to Hubble Space Telescope data, the axis deviation is only 0.1 degrees over four days. For an object with constant gas emissions, this is extremely unusual. Jets typically create torque, causing the nucleus to wobble or deviate from its axis. Here, however, the rotation remains virtually unchanged, which might indicate a balance of forces or a robust internal structure capable of absorbing such moments. Now, about the bright patches on the surface. These areas reflect light approximately 20% more than the surrounding dust. Their albedo is about 0.25 compared to an average of 0.15. Furthermore, they are fixed relative to the rotation, meaning they are stable surface features. Comet surfaces are usually very dark, like coal dust, so bright regions could indicate exposed ice or dense crystalline materials. Another unusual feature is the regular cyanogen outbursts. These CN gas emissions appear as narrow blue rays without dusted mixture and occur strictly on schedule every 16.2 hours when a specific region of the nucleus turns toward the sun. Cyanogen is a common component of comet emissions, but such clarity and periodicity are extremely rare. Visually, these outbursts resemble thin blue rays, though they are not actual lasers, of course. Their shape suggests 
that the gas is escaping from very narrow directed channels. Now let's turn to the tail. Its length exceeds 2.6 million kilometers and continues to grow. The length itself is not unique, but what is unusual is that the tail remains narrow over such a distance. This could mean that the particles are moving in an extremely orderly flow. Large particles usually spread out, while small ones form a wide fan. Here, however, a thin, almost linear structure is observed. Equally surprising is that the anti-tail remains sharp much longer than usual. An anti-tail appears when Earth passes through the orbital plane of the comet. Large particles remain in the orbital plane and reflect light, creating the illusion of a tail pointing toward the sun. This is usually a short-lived effect, but in the case of 3I Atlas, the structure remains stable, which might indicate the ejection of unusually large particles or a directed nature of their release. Scientists are considering three main hypotheses. The first is entirely natural. According to this, 3I Atlas is simply an extremely unusual comet with a rare combination of volatiles and a dense nucleus structure. The stable rotation could indicate internal strength. The bright patches could be exposed ice and the regular cyanogen emissions could be from deep cracks activated upon illumination. The second hypothesis involves observational limitations. Some effects might be enhanced due to viewing geometry. The angle between Earth, the orbit, and the Sun could visually emphasize the anti-tail, and the stability of acceleration could be a consequence of instrument sensitivity and the discontinuity of observational data. The third hypothesis is an engineering one. It is not considered mainstream and is not supported by any evidence, but it is put forward as a theoretical possibility. Within this framework, the jets could be interpreted as directed thrusters, the CN outbursts as controlled releases, the bright patches as areas made of different materials, and the lack of thrust decay and wobble as signs of active stabilization. This version does not claim anything definitive but allows for the consideration of the full spectrum of possible models and stimulates more thorough data verification. In the coming weeks, the situation will become even more interesting. As 3i Atlas approaches its closest approach point on December 19th, Observers worldwide will obtain new, highly detailed data. Particular attention will be paid to ejection velocities. If the cyanogen jets are moving at speeds on the order of hundreds of meters per second, that fits within the framework of natural processes. However, if the values approach kilometers per second, theories will need to be revised. Spectroscopy will clarify the composition of the jets and new images will allow monitoring of changes in the bright areas. It will also be checked whether the thrust constancy persists beyond the already recorded 182 days. Scientists will continue to track the evolution of the tail, anti-tail, and jets, whether new ones appear, old ones weaken, or their shapes change. They will measure the rotation again to ensure the level of wobble remains minimal. It is important to remember that 3i Atlas is only the third interstellar object spotted within the solar system. The first, Oumuamua, accelerated without a visible tail. The second, 2i Borisov, outwardly resembled a typical comet, but had an unusual chemical composition. Now 3i Atlas demonstrates its own set of anomalies, once again expanding the framework of what interstellar wanderers can be like. All this helps us understand the conditions under which objects form in other star systems and shows just how diverse such visitors can be. The story of 3i Atlas is just beginning to unfold, and the next month will be key. As the object approaches, 
New images, spectra, and photometric data will emerge, helping to unravel the mysterious features and refine models of its behavior. Thank you for your attention. If you enjoy clear, fact-based stories about cosmic discoveries, support the channel with a like, repost, and subscription. You've been watching Beyond the Sky, where we explore the universe through observation, evidence, and thoughtful analysis.